Alrighty friends, let's get in to a nice little YouTube video. This video is going to be about a weapon that has been slept on, at least my chat's been telling me, for a very long time. Warden's Law, which I've only used 65 different times, or I've gotten 65 kills with in the past. I've got a really good roll with my Warden's Law. Mine's a depth, so I can throw a depth range on it. We've got a stability masterwork. We've got Zen Moment, which is what you want. we got Moving Target, which is what you want. Ricochet or Accurize is probably available. I don't know for sure. Not having that to throw. Extended versus small bore. We might decide one versus the other. In fact, I'm going with small bore. I'm excited for this. It's a burst hand cannon. It's very similar to Crimson in the fact that it's a burst hand cannon, but it's got some different stats and different feels from Crimson. And if you wanted to, you can now use an exotic as a heavy or a secondary. If you do use this, it frees up your exotic. 35 kills with one primary weapon is usually the bar for me in a flawless card. If we're able to get more, it means we're loving it. If we don't get very many, if we get less, maybe I'm not. Let's see. Can we get 35 kills? Warden's Law. We started with 65. Easy to track. Let's do it. Let's see if this hand cannon is all, if all the buzz is worth it. Alrighty. Game one with the Warden's Law, baby. I haven't used this weapon in so damn long. I have no idea how it feels. It's purple. <laughs> it's purple, I know that. I'm radiant. Oh my god! Well, that was a little psychotic. I don't want to overreact, but okay, I like it a lot already. That felt stronger than I expected it to feel. Okay, I was gonna kind of be curious about the range. That fall off was severe, so range isn't great, but like most spots on the map, you don't really need... That good a range? Put the smoke there, saw him from rezzing. Get that spike made off. That spike needs to be good. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna take a little bit to kind of learn how it feels. Seems like game one's gonna go our way. I like my teammates. Looking good. I'm curious if I can make it work outside. Which is the perfect example of like, can I? I might need to play mid-map because I just don't have very much range and go for fights like this. Okay, that was a little bit awkward. But that was kind of rangy. Well, hello, sir. Healing grenade not gonna save you from that. What the hell? Nice. That's why I love the slugs. So I feel like I need to get better at hitting headshots. Zen moment should super help with that. <laughs> 69. Kind of rare to have a hand cannon Zen moment. It's like a very common pulse perk. Okay, not bad, but like not amazing. Okay, there's one behind me, but he's in a fight with the teammates. I don't need to worry about that. Cool. It's easier to hit than your average hand cannon, in my opinion. And my bad. I've been streaming 12 hours today, so my voice is not doing great. I'm gonna try to just, like, lubricate the heck out of it with water today. It's a little bit easier to keep stable and land consistent shots than your average hand cannon. At least on controller, hand cannons are usually bopping around a ton. Thanks for the Radiant, man. Hand cannons usually bobbing around a ton. And this thing's just a laser beam. Even the hip fire might be okay. All right, game one's a beast. Let's go, baby. Game one, how many kills? With the Warden's Law, a good old seven. That's better than average. We only really need to get five if we win seven games and we want to shoot for 35. We only need to get five kills with Warden's Law per game across seven wins to get that, so... Good start. Game one's usually where we kind of learn how it feels, too. So that could have a game on game one. It's a good sign. Alrighty, game two, baby. I really think this thing has the range that I expected it to have. Oh, God, dude. Oh, God. Okay, how the fuck do I survive this? Ah! What is happening? It does have the hip fire, though. God. They all wanted me so bad. All right, at mid-range, this thing's pretty beast. Okay, all three of them in the spawn? I mean, this is kind of... Oh, one of them quit. Fun, dude. What a good sport. I was gonna say this is a good... I Like, a good range for the Warden's Law. This area, this room. I mean, I could, like, mess with Extended and get a tiny bit more range, but I don't think it's worth losing 10 handling and 7 stability. I don't think it's worth it. 3v2 is wonderful if we want to win the game. It's not wonderful if we want to rack up a bunch of kills. Only one enemy is Jump over! What? Okay, my dude made it blow up. Poor must, baby. This guy's just making tons of clones. God, the aim assist on it's nuts. 
We're gonna get in some juicy 1v1s. I already know it. We're gonna get some juicy 1v2s. I'm gonna gun a guy down. I'm gonna worm husk. Second guy's gonna think this guy's weak. I'm gonna gun him down. There is a little bit of a question, though. I'm like, does this actually compare to Crimson? What if we make this YouTube video less about the kills with the Warden's Law and more about comparing both burst hand cannons both popular warden's law more slept on but does it compare to the crimson let's see which feels more rangy more stable which feels more worth it i actually hit for 50 from that far that's the full uh damage too i'm surprised by that okay i saw the guy jump up he's not gonna expect me being down here and we got a smoke there so he's gonna be extra confused maybe or i'm extra confused yoink Huh. That is a headshot game. I'm robbed. Game two in the books, baby. All right, so now let's go get Crimson. All right, dudes. The Crimson's on. What we get with Wardens? We got 13 kills in two games. I mean, that's pretty good, especially in the 5-0 with only two people in the second game. I haven't used Crimson in a very long time, even though it's a pretty popular one. So, like, it's a three burst instead of a two burst. So you hit for uh, 34 to the head, it looks like, instead of 50. What was it, 50 to the head for the two burst? 34 to that instead. Wow! He actually just turned on me and gunned me there? That wasn't a good feel. I didn't like that. The problem was I wanted to run forward and slide forward, but there was a guy on my right. And it put me in a weird spot where I kind of just had to try to get that kill as quick as possible in case the dude on my right joined in on the fight. I'm so thrown off by that happening there, though. thought that was like a free kill. Okay, there's a dude on the left. Crimson gives you health back even without a precision kill. Okay, I had to remember that. Precision Seal's kill is what reloads you and gives you, oh my god, and gives you health back. Any kill, health back. Precision kill, health back, plus reload. So really the argument is not like burst hand cannons, because this hand cannon is so clearly better in all the categories. It's more about whether two bursts or three bursts feels better. Is there a guy right next to me? Like, this is too early to make this conclusion because we got way more gameplay in this car to do. But so far, I feel like I like two bursts more than three bursts. The reloading on precision, the heal, no matter what, like, that's so strong. It's hard to, to not want to choose Crimson just for that. But we still got a lot more gameplay to do, friends. Oh, they got a sword. I didn't even realize it was heavy rounds. Oops. And just absolutely mowed the F down by Recluse. I thought I was going to win that fight, but SMG at close range like that is definitely going to be better than Crimson. Crimson's an awkward weapon. I mean, kind of similar to Warden's Law. Just in the sense that it feels like it's not really a close range, but it's definitely not a long range either. It just kind of... I mean, I guess it's similar to a lot of hand cannons. It just serves as like a good mid-range weapon. So you get caught in weird spots where you're like, this is too long range. Or you can be cut, caught in spots. Jesus. Where it's like, this is too close. Me being alive is a fucking Christmas miracle right now. Only one Do you have to aim at their chest because they flinch you? I guess you gotta aim at their chest because they fucking oh, flinch you. Everyone loves Crimson so much on controller, and I've always found it really awkward. And it's just... This game already is just making me... I feel like prove my point. Or it's proving my point a little bit. Are you rewarded for being worse at aiming? Should I aim at their chest so I get flinched into their head? Kind of seems that way. That was a little rangy. Careful, dude. What are you? Psychotic gameplay. Psychotic gameplay from everyone involved. All right, Warlock Man's gonna get well soon. The game's gonna be over because of a super. Hell yeah, super excited for that. Ooh, good teams. Only one enemy is left. All right, gamer, you're gonna get well soon, which I don't love, so we should probably be trying to kill you quick. Rip the shotgun shot. All right, we got this. As long as they don't get well, they get well, it's not gonna do, it's not gonna go well. <laughs> and we got a chance for a bubble, but there's been one guy who's been the main guy on their team. Nice. I'll take that little pick. Good job on my teammate getting him weak. This guy's just crouching like a little weenie. 
waiting off radar. Okay, I'm not going to challenge them alone. I need my teammates to get in there. There they go. They're getting in there now. Uh-oh. He's, he's got well. It's funny. Okay. We win that game some freaking how. I have no idea. We got the tether at the very last second. The dude went the, into the immune mode with Strand and almost cost it too. Like that was sketchy as hell, dude. We actually ended up having a pop off. I don't know how I freaking feel about Crimson. We're going to keep trying it, but like, ah, I don't think burst hand cannons work very well with me. Alrighty, let's hop into game two with the Crimson. Accidentally ended up doing a comparison card here. Thinking I was going to do a Warden's Law card and all of a sudden it's a burst hand cannon card. Ah, why do I not win that? I'm aiming on his head, dude. Because it's a three burst hand cannon, I guess it's like flinching me over him. Reticle's on his head. I'm aiming at his head. But I get punished because because he flinches me, I guess. It's going to be hard for me to fall in love with any kind of a weapon like that. Where like, you're not really doing anything wrong, but you don't win the fight. Okay, health back's great. Oh, health back overshield saved my ass there. I say that in the next round, I'm like, you know what? <laughs> you, know, you know what? Gotta stop making conclusive decisions based off of one simple fight. But round one, I'm like, dude, I should have killed that guy. The two burst versus the three burst hand cannon, Warden's Law, it gives you less opportunity to get flinched off your shot, which is kind of unique. Okay, we deal a good amount of damage to both of them. Nice, good job. I was like, I'm too weak to keep challenging though. I don't know if what I just said is true, but it feels true. When you're shooting a three burst hand cannon, there's a better chance you get flinched off of your shots. Whereas the two burst, it gets the bullets out quick enough that it's like, I didn't really notice me having shots get flinched above people's heads, but I'm definitely noticing with the crimson. Shit, I was hoping that guy would stay challenged. He's still up here. No, he's not. Thanks for the re-reload. Hey, if he doesn't one hit me, I'm about to shit on him. If he doesn't one hit me there, I am ready to pull out the Inquisitor and say, hey, hey. Good luck, Newman, I believe. Newman, Newman, Newman. Fuck yeah, Newman. Can't just challenge from that same lane. Oh, cool. These two dudes are following my every move. I'm trying to be sneaky. Wow. Okay, that was kind of toasty. That was kind of toasty. I got six Inquisitor shots. What the fuck? Crimson's got some sneaky range. I mean, when you look at it and it's got 92 range, I guess it's not sneaky, but it feels sneaky. Huh. <laughs> Come back here, dude. Where are you? Oh, shit. We're so hot. That's the real lemon pants right there. We're so hot. Game four in the books. Lemon Pants is flawless. Warden's Law next game? They just start going back and forth now that we've done two and two? I think we just start going back and forth. Just when I was starting to like Crimson, man. Back to the Warden. The two burster. That was good damage, but I didn't. I don't think I needed to run away like that. He froze him, but I'm too weak. Oh, God. Golly G. Can I see the res? No. Not being able to see the res is not dope. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Yeah, that was unfortunate. I didn't really remember exactly where I killed the guy, so I like tried to run away because I was on fire and there were two people and I didn't know where they were. But then we couldn't guard the revive. We got a freezy lock. Would have been nice to capitalize on the freeze, but just wasn't in the position to do so. No, I don't have my dodge yet. Wow. Man, like loading into a round, waiting for a bit, getting into a fight. And then dodging, or trying to dodge, and not having it yet is a huge toss. Problem is, I can't go out for this long angle because Wardens doesn't have the range. Ooh. That felt good. Good, teammates putting up fights now. You got the easy res, dude. Maybe. You got the easy res, dude. Ducks, stop being a... One minute left, my Okay, the hip fire is not bad. These dudes, uh, these dudes seem good. Ducks plus Nem seem pretty smart and pretty good. So the two of them together might be a little difficult to dismatch. Okay, this guy's going for heavy, so we gotta at least challenge it. We're gonna outsmart him. We're gonna outgun him. We're gonna outplay him. We're gonna outsex appeal him. 
Okay, I'm not gonna overextend. There we go. I'm like, I have teammates around. I don't need to be the one to jump up there while I'm bleeding out. I've made that mistake before. I'm like, it's 3v1. I'll just jump it in my one shot. Then he kills me. My two teammates run away. And I'm like, ah, fuck. So right there, we're staying alive. Took a Hail Mary. Blah! Jump scare, dude. Sorry, I'm not helping you. I'm expecting them on the right. I was trying to protect you, but they never showed up. Hi, Shredder. I literally never saw him. <laughs> Turned around to find him, and I still didn't find him. Okay, well, we got five Inquisitor shots. We wanted to start running at people. He's got outside. It's too far. Actually, it was hitting for 50s. It wasn't too far, but let's just fully reset fight and get a new angle. Imagine. Okay, again, I don't want to be here. Survive, dudes. Survive. I got you. Why is that guy trying to freeze everybody and then not, like, commit to the fight? Ugh. Too far, but I'll at least deal a little damage. You got this, dude. Yes. Yeah, Wardens is interesting. Like, it's got a little bit more range than I expected to in some of these fights, but it's still not going to, like, melt you from across the outside. So I have to be super cautious on how I approach some of these fights. No, what the fuck? I'm stuck on this little corner. I was trying to go behind the rock the whole time. Oh, what a way to lose the three three rounds. Got stuck in a fight I wasn't even trying to be in. I was just trying to back behind the damn rock. But that surface is so pointy, it wouldn't let me around it. It's one thing you just like lose a gunfight, but I wasn't trying to be in that gunfight. Nice throwing knife, dude. Okay. Not good. We're about to have our super. He got a pick, which is big. Okay, I, I think I'm just gonna have to. Oh wait, never mind. My guy's going nuts. I choked. Okay, good job, man. EMFA decided to wake up and go crazy. We love it. They, I don't know if they're gonna have any supers. I got mine. They might get well. Is it the, no, it's the warlock who's not doing so great. I doubt they get well. That was risky. I didn't want to tether there because I felt good about winning the fight, but it was risky. We got zone control. We got a pick outside that they're nowhere near. Okay, this game can be really irritating. I'm glad that I got the tether off, though. The other guy ran through the tether. My res is so easy if they want it. We win those, okay? Man, that's the reason why tether can go and suck a giant donkey dick. I see the guy. Decide I'm going to super him. Super him. He's got three seconds to fucking read a book, drink some coffee, and then realize he can pop his super before he gets tethered. Like, great. But we got him. Mistakes were made that game, but we won it anyway. Tether, you suck. I hate you, but we got the job done. Good job, EMFA, to be there. Appreciate you, dude. We are loading into game six. We're using the Crimson this time. Uh, we've got a super good team on our team and uh i'm not sure we're gonna get the best game here to showcase anything but let it doesn't matter let's just play holy never mind dude maybe these guys are gonna absolutely cook oh shit all right we only have one shot can we get out nope. we got clan and nautical ready to go holy all right these guys are gonna cook i like it clan 1v1 dude nice igneous hammer shots this sweaty Toy Torino gets the win. I did not like jumping up and seeing two people just standing there. I did not like that at all. I hope to get in some nice crimson encounters. That would be lovely. And that is exactly what I have a hard time with with crimson. I aimed at their head and missed half the shots because of it. I'm really feeling like with crimson, you got to aim at their neck. In order to actually see benefits. Like, you got to aim at their fucking neck. I'm going to try again. As always, dude. Just stand back up and try again. But this is how it feels, dude. It's like I go in, I slide, I get the first shot, I maybe at their head. They shoot me with like two damage and I'm like, Bleep! and miss half the burst. Two or three or, or two of the three shots go over him. Which means I'm hitting 34 each shot if two of the three go over him. That's not good. Gotta start aiming at the neck. What's up, you weenies? I'm gonna aim at your necks. Got an overshield now. Oh yeah, 10 damage. Oh yeah. Yeah, using wrist runner. Only one enemy is left. 
One minute left. Got to aim at the next. Baited that guy right into that. That was cool. You know what, friends? I feel like burst hand cannons are not really my favorite thing here, okay? Feel like burst hand cannon is not really my thing. Everybody, like, dude, I'm telling you. The amount of people who tell me that controller crimson is, like, the greatest thing since Reese's Pieces or Reese's on Halloween, like, everyone. Ugh. We're only hitting for 15 from there with 92 range. Excuse me. It's got a lot of good perks, right? The the reload, the heal. It's got a lot of good perks. It can be pretty sneaky strong, but I just don't like it in 1v1 fights, which feels really important to me. Like, it's a great weapon if you're playing sixes and you're getting flanks. But, like, fuck that. Like, I just got absolutely destroyed. I didn't even have a chance. Like, that's just a... <laughs> that was just a clean 1v1 with primaries, and I didn't have an, a chance. Not at all. Nice. I was ready. Thanks for the carry, clan. I would have done better if I wasn't using this dumbass weapon. All right. Uh, we're going to go use Warden's Law, and we're going to swap between Crimson and Warden's Law every single round for next game. It's going to be fucking great. Game 7, Burst Hand Cannons. Take me to the lighthouse. Let me frolic in the sunshine and get a messenger I'll delete immediately out of the chest. We got two stasis boys on our team against a full squad of solar. Warden's Law. Oh my god! Nope, 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 nope. Pointy rock, don't fuck me. Okay, well now we're too far for... Rough. Ah, oh, dudes. Actively not gaming. Ah, oh, dudes. Hup! No! There's nowhere to go! I have this issue with my brain, probably more than one, where I understand about one-tenth of every lyric in any song. I just never know what anyone's saying. Oh no, anybody else like that? Anybody in chat wanna own up to them being like that? Well, that dealt no damage. Like, I, I agree that might've been a little bit of a stretch, but like, no damage? The fuck is he? Oh, he's so weak, somebody else kill him. YouTube comments, let me know. Anybody else like that? It can be like the most obvious song, and I just end up being like, Take me to church. Saturday night. Sharpen your knife. Fuck you, man. Eat my dick. I hate it. I'm not oh, I'm not swapping between Crimson. I'm distracted by the lack of lyric. Okay, Crimson now. My bad. I wasn't swapping. My bad. I have betrayed us. I'm also not focused and we're on flawless game. Like, what the fuck am I doing? Let's get an angle from here. Alright, well, we played three rounds of Warden, so we gotta keep this weapon on for a bit. Nice. Nice. He got heavy. You stay in that rift, bad boy. Oh my god. Hey, well, if we lose, we can do an actual game seven of swapping weapons. That's that's a good thing. I'd still prefer not to lose, though. Like, me not being able to get that kill, give me, like, 99% of primary weapons in Destiny 2, and that guy's gonna die. Oh my god, I am, the, I am the least lethal person ever with these weapons. I'm shooting everybody with just the weakest shit it feels like. Only one ally is left. Fuck! All right, so we've done what? Four rounds? Th yeah, with three rounds of Wardens, two rounds with Crimson. So let's go lose this round, then we'll have done three and three, and the next game we'll do better. And then I can give you the crispiest breakdown you've ever seen while at the Lighthouse. I'm gonna walk you through the pros and cons and everything you've ever wanted to know about Crimson Warden's Law. The comparison, the pros, the cons, the everything. I was actually pretty melty, but... Didn't finish the kill. Nobody was there to heal. I don't, I don't know. Okay, we got one kill. Did he not die? Did he not die? Okay, well, you guys got a 2v1 for this, so I believe. That actually killed him? That, that Shattered Dive should not have killed him. Hmm. Not good, we got a guy picked. Good news is I'm distracting. Bad news is everybody's dead. Uh. 
One minute left. No, I have no ammo. <gasps> if I have arc holster, we win. Seriously. Because I was expecting that to be reloaded because I had a shot. And then I am slugging that dude in the face. And I'm going to find 1v1. I'm going to be totally dandy. All right, we'll start next game with a crimson. Or with a, yeah, yeah, with a crimson. And we'll focus. Stop talking about music. All right, crimson. I'm going to make a play I never make and go right, right away. I hate this. I usually don't do this. He smoked. Yeah! Dude got fusions on my team. Oh, this guy is going crazy. I got to try to go and help him. That's why you got to go join your teammates in the fights. If they're super aggro like that, you got to join them in the fight and go and try to get some damage with them. All right, we're swapping from Crimson to Warden's Lob. Try to remember to keep swapping back and forth. Two bursts, three bursts, two bursts, three bursts, two bursts, two bursts, three bursts. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. My teammates seem to be lighting them up. Where's this guy? Nice. Crimson. And I'm out of water. Being out of water is a huge toss. Go, Nade, go. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not the only one. <gasps> and heal clip, kill clip. What the? Hello, friend. And back from Wardens to Crimson. We didn't track how many kills I had with each weapon, like, at all. If I was, like, decent at my job, I would have tracked that. But I'm not. Excuse me, motherfucker. That's not allowed. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'll take that kill. Helio! Crimson! I don't have to play with these weapons anymore. <laughs> you know what? I don't even want to show you me opening the chest. We got to get this YouTube video over with. We got to we gotta finish this. I'm standing up. That's how passionate I feel about this. Fuck the Crimson. It is dog shit. But like for real, why does everybody love Crimson? I hate that fucking weapon. Warden's Law a little bit better. I feel like you don't get sh missed. You don't have so many shots flinch off. But dude, I don't know the secret sauce to Crimson is to aim like you're bad and just aim at their stomach or something. I, Sorry, I don't want to get offensive to the people who love Crimson. No kink shaming. But dudes, you slide in, you aim at their head. They shoot you with something that deals 10 damage to you. And two of your three shots from Crimson Burst go above their head. And then the recoil falls back to them. You shoot again. They shoot you again. You miss all of it again. Honestly, fuck you, Burst Hand Cannons. Like, Warden's Law, I liked it a little bit more. I know that you've got heal. You've got reload. There's things about Crimson that make it better. But this weapon felt actually good for duels. Thanks for watching. Leave a like on the YouTube if you could. Thank you for supporting the YouTube and uh, goodbye.